Hello everyone, so after tons of requests on Instagram, I finally decided to create the video on how I make my flashcards. And another plus about flashcards is that it's really fun and convenient as well as easy to carry around with you on the bus, on the tube, wherever you need to go with your flashcards. So there are different types of flashcards that you can get. There's the colourful lined ones and the plain lined ones. And then there's one that's turquoise with um, sort of like hand drawn lines, but I don't use that a lot. I just saw it in Poundland and I was like, oh, why not get this? And then I ended up not using it. But yeah. And then after picking out my flashcards, I get my go-to stationery, which is usually the Pilot Pen G207 and then a couple of Tombows or Artline Sticks, um, depending on what subject I'm doing the flashcards for. And I also use the Dual Brush Pen um, by Tombow, the black one, and it's usually the felt tip side that I use the most because for some of the flashcards, I want to make some of the info stand out more and I do that by doing it in a black felted pen instead of my G2 Pilot 7 pen. So the usual kind of structure that I go for is the one where there's a question and answer style and that's where on one side there's the question and then on the other side I'd write down the answer. And then after writing down the answer I tend to get um, a highlighter I usually go for the mindliner ones but sometimes I go for Stabilo um, but here I'm going for the mindliner ones and I'm highlighting the keywords from the definition. The good thing about this style is that it actively gets you to recall the information and you're not tempted to see the answer because it's not on the same side of the flashcard but an against would be that if you're covering a lot of content then you'll have way too many flashcards with a bunch of question and answers so it can take very long. So another structure that you could also use is a bit more straightforward and this is where you've basically got the title and then you write down what it's about. So for example here I'm just writing the term at the top and then the definition would be at the bottom. So this is different to the question and answer style because for this style everything is basically put into one side of the card. Now the good thing about this style is that it's all in one side. so. It doesn't fill up as many cards and in case you don't have as many cards then that's not an issue but an against would be that unless you know the title of the card you'll be tempted to look at the definition so when you get to the flash card as you're revising you're going to see the title right but you might be tempted to actually look at the definition and the next style is one that I like to call the topic and its minions. So this is basically where at the top is the main topic and then the minions are essentially the subtopics. I tend to use this one where I'm trying to write down the key principles or any criteria that are or were established in a certain case. And sometimes I actually get the outline sticks itself or if I'm using the Tombow I use that colour and use that as the highlighter to highlight um, the numbers of principles or the numbers of criteria that came out of a certain case and then I also highlight the case. There's no particular reason other than just to kind of like keep the theme going. So if my title card is going to be orange then I kind of like to keep the highlights um, throughout the entire set orange or if the title card was going to be yellow then I keep the entire set yellow. So I like to use this style the most because it feels as though it's not as if you're adding too much or too little, it feels like it's the perfect amount. Um, and I guess an against would be that depending on the subject that you're doing it for, um, for example if it was English literature, you might have to put a lot of information if you were going to do it this style. So yeah, that's something to look out for. And another style that I use the most, this is usually used when I'm cramming or something like that. So usually before a test or an exam. Um, and I kind of put the title at the top 
and then the definition and then the cases and the principles um, but yeah I don't put way too many cases or anything it's like max two in one flashcard at least on one side and this is also an example of when I would use the felt tip side of the dual brush pen by Tombow um, so it's when I'm writing down the case and I would usually write the definition or any principles coming from that case using my pilot pen and then at the end when I finish writing down everything on the flashcard that's when I go in and highlight the key terms or any other keywords or cases and the good thing about this style is that everything's on the flashcard so consolidation is easier since it's all in front of you on a small piece of paper but a bad thing could be that um, obviously some people tend to go a bit overboard so they might include way too much information and here another style that I use is where I type up the information and print it out and then stick it onto the flashcard. I tend to mainly use this style when I've got a presentation coming up and I need to memorise my parts of the presentation. So I kind of print it out in a script style and then highlight my parts in it. Now this part's not really necessary, it's just sometimes I'm a bit extra and I kind of like to have everything all pretty and neat. So here are a couple of ways. Um, or different styles that I use to create the title cards. So here I'm just grabbing a brush pen from um, the Tombow collections and I also have a couple of stickers near me. So the ones I'm using in this video is by Paper Kamako and it's from their new character line um, titled Coco which is totally adorable you guys should definitely check them out. So yeah and then after writing down the title I put the sticker on there and that's all there is to it. Another way you can decorate it is by getting um, a washi tape and here I've got a lot of washi tapes I just never really use it a lot so I decided to use it to decorate my flashcards. Um, so you just cut off a piece and then stick it to each corner of the flashcard like so. You can either do it on the diagonal sides or you can do it on all four corners around the card and another way I use is where I get a ruler and then basically create borders around the flash card this one's probably my least favorite but it's just something for you guys to try out if you want to um, and you can also um, color in the squared parts in the corners of each side and another way I decorate my title cards is by using a sort of watercolour effect and I do this firstly by making sure that um, my desk is protected from the colours that I'm about to use so make sure you have some sort of protector for you to put the flashcard on that way it doesn't get all messy around you um, and then I pick two to three colours you can choose more if you want to but sometimes if you use a lot and especially if they're quite different colours then it can look rather messy um, so yeah and then you also need a spray bottle filled with water here I'm just using my mixing not mixing my makeup spray and just to clarify it's not the actual makeup setting spray that's in there it's actually water so after you've got that near you then you do a squiggly line in the darkest colour which is what I usually do and then fill in the blank parts of the squiggly line with the other colours that you've got and then you get the spray bottle and you spray it from a distance now here I kind of sprayed it a bit too close so when I put this onto the flashcard it went a little bit too damp so I'd recommend doing it from a fair good distance away like 20 centimeters maybe but yeah and then after you've got that the flashcard might be a little bit damp for a bit but once it's all dried off and the card actually feels like card again that's when you can go over it and write down the title and here there's another type of hole puncher that i use but this is a decorative one and you can use this to basically make like a decorative border around the flash card now you don't really need this it's just something that i've had for a while because i used to be into scrapbooking a lot and once you've finished hole punching the top side and the bottom side or all sides if you want to then sometimes I go over the border that I've created 
And one of the ways I keep my cards together is by using an index holder. I don't use this as often because it's not big enough to hold my um, flashcards that I've got because these ones are kind of small. And another way to hold the flashcards together is through paper clips. Now with paper clips, although they're pretty good and you can kind of put the flashcards together either on the top corner or the side of the top corner, um, it doesn't hold that many cards. So I think around 10 is the maximum or, we, or maybe a little bit more depending on the size of your paper clips or the thickness of the flashcard. And here we've got a couple of binder rings. They're not that big um, because I don't feel like they should be that big if you want to hold a lot of cards because these hold a pretty decent amount but I do have bigger ones um, but yeah so here it just requires one hole punch on the corner of each flash card and then you just put in the ring binder like that not ring binder but the ring um, and close it and then you can flip through your cards really easily now this one's my favorite way of holding all my flash cards together it's just the most convenient for me um, so these are elastic treasury tags, um, so they stretch out, they're not like the ones that's just a kind of fixed length, so yeah, you can stretch them out and same as with the binder rings, you have to hole punch a corner of each flashcard and then you put in the treasury tag like so. And you can even add quite a lot of other flashcards if you want. So I think I've had like up to 101 of these, yeah, I had 100 in a pack and then I just used the treasury tags to put them together. I just feel like sometimes that the ring binder is a bit more rigid, that's why. So I do prefer the treasury tag over the rings. And the last one, this is very similar to the ring binder, but it's just like a small folder specifically for um, flashcards. And here it requires two hole punches at the top. So you guys need to remember though, when you're writing out your um, flashcards, not to write all the way at the top, otherwise you'll be hole punching through your titles of the flashcard. And that's all for this video, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you decide to use any of the sample title cards that I showed you guys throughout this video, feel free to tag me on Instagram um, under at Legally Studies. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and comment below if you have any other suggestions for other things that you might want to see.